Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a market assessment of some of the, the, the folks that are really leaning into charging. Let me open up these slides just one more time. Um, you know, it, it's interesting. We, um, obviously the stock markets are not doing well, right? We can see that there has been a 20% drawdown year to date on the S&P 500. But what's the only sector of the S&P 500 that's, that's overperforming? It's energy. Right. On the back of $80 crude oil, the oil and gas companies, the super majors, are printing record EBITDA profits. The, the, the energy sector of the S&P 500 is up 57% year to date. Just Chevron and Exxon alone, i just pointing out these two, printed $200 billion in EBITDA in the last three quarters. They're, these are record EBITDA margins, record profits. But guess what? They're not spending money on building new oil rigs or drilling new wells. So typically they would spend on CapEx, but, and, and that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If they're not drilling new wells, it's going to keep the price of oil high for quite an extended period of time because you know it takes three to five years of new exploration and new drilling to actually impact prices. So they're gonna see these record EBITDA and, and profit margins for years to come, but where are they going to spend all that cash? Sure, we've seen share buybacks, but how much how much can you buy back, right? At some point, you're you're done. So they're really leaning into EVs now. And you see across the spectrum, oil and gas companies announcing left and right, we're going to deploy 50,000 charge points by 2030. We're going to spend multi-billion dollars in deploying charging infrastructure by 2027, right? We see this. And most of them have made announcements and started to lean into um, free wire and battery integrated as the solution. So, you know, this is just a couple of announcements recently. Chevron, uh, we announced a national rollout with them, Philip 66, I mentioned that earlier, and Parkland, who's one of the largest oil and gas companies you've never heard of, right? They, they have 4,000 retail locations across North America. Um, we're doing a very large rollout with them as well. And so these retailers, and these, these, are, the, these are the first dominoes to fall, right? The oil and gas, they have a um, existential threat ahead of them, but they also, at the same time, are generating record profits. So they're going to use those record profits to try to face this existential threat. It makes a lot of sense as to why they're leaning in, but they're not going to be the last ones. You're going to see the quick service restaurants in the next couple of years. Those dominoes are going to start to fall. As soon as um, they, the Starbucks and the 7-Elevens and the McDonald's start offering charging in mass, and, and they will, then you're going to start seeing, you know, charging rollouts all across the country. And what, what becomes interesting from a competitive perspective is right now, you know, Chevron and Philip 66 or BP and Shell, they compete against each other. But in this new landscape, they're actually also competing against Starbucks and McDonald's because they're competing for people fueling their vehicles and not for the dispensing of actual fuel or electrons, they're competing for the other share of their wallet, right? When that person fuels or their vehicle or charges their vehicle, what else are they spending money on? Are they spending on car washes and Red Bulls inside the convenience store? Or are they spending it on a latte and a muffin inside of Starbucks? And so there's this new competitive nature building, building up that I'm, I'm actually really excited to see how it plays out. And frankly speaking, FreeWire becomes the picks and shovels to all of it. We're just supplying infrastructure to all of them, and we're 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 and this competition that's happening. They want to deploy faster than the other. You know, this is the solution you're going for. It's battery integrated.